Yeah, Amy. hot weekend. A lot of stuff happening around the Twin Cities. You know, we have the Stone Arch Bridge Festival. Ellery McArdle's there. She's going to be updating us on that in a little bit. But we also have closures, unfortunately, to, to warn you folks about 35W, uh, both directions between Minneapolis and the Crosstown. That's going to be closed for the weekend again. Another weekend closure of 35W. Uh, that's going to kick off tonight at 10 p.m. Ramp start to close at 9 p.m. tonight. It will reopen Monday morning at 5 a.m. Your detour you see highlighted there in orange along 394 Highway 100 and the Crosstown 62. So just a heads up for that. And coming up, we do have some closures along 35 northbound for folks headed to Grandma's Marathon. Thousands of people will be heading north this weekend. I'll have all the details coming up in a little bit. Making news headlines this Friday morning, a scathing report from the Inspector General. The IG ruled former FBI Director James Comey was insubordinate for the way he handled Hillary Clinton's emails, but that he was free of bias. Oddly enough, the report also revealed Comey used a Gmail account to conduct FBI business, to which Hillary Clinton clapped back, tweeting, but my emails. No more pawn shops or adult stores in Eden Prairie, at least for now. The city just put a moratorium on those businesses this week. And if the council approves a gun store impact study, gun shops wouldn't be able to open for a year while the study is conducted. A nightmare at an amusement park in Florida. Take a look at some of these shots from Daytona Beach. A roller coaster derailed last night. 10 people had to be rescued from the cars. Six of those people had to go to hospital. Time for a digital dive now. Stranger Things, one of the biggest shows on TV, of course. We are huge fans. Yeah. But one of those young stars is getting bullied online, Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah, and unfortunately, it got to the point where she had to delete her accounts. Now, if you don't know who Millie Bobby Brown is, take a look at this. She's uh, plays 11 on Stranger Things, and she recently became the target of Twitter trolls. People even used the hashtag take down Millie, Brown, Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah, these tweets were so cruel. The memes, they accused her of being homophobic and they had really graphic and outrageous details. No one's sure why this hashtag started other than just cruel, mean internet humor. The actress has actually been a really vocal advocate for LGBTQ rights. Yeah, she said enough is enough, so she took it down. But a lot of people talking about this on social media this morning. Some people even defending the haters, what? saying, you know, it's just a joke. But the majority of people are sticking up for Millie Bobby Brown. But there she is again. A lot of you chiming in. Allison wrote on our Carolyn Facebook page, she's 14. Adults who give this child a hard time need to have their butts smacked. Another person tweeted at us, great. So we had a week of anti-bullying tweets and how mental health is important. And now a week of people harassing Millie Bobby Brown with homophobic means. Twitter is sure a great place. You can note the sarcasm there. And then this was the last tweet from Millie Bobby Brown. She says, be nice every day. Kindness is the key to a happy life. A young 14 year old knows a lot about that. And of course, we want to hear from you. Head over to our Carolyn Facebook page to join the conversation. A lot of comments coming in, you guys, because again, we see this all the time, but it's so sad when it's gone to the extent where someone has to delete their account. Yeah. You know, we were actually asking our viewers all morning, have they thought about deleting their accounts because of just the negativity on social media? This is actually pretty surprising to me. About half of you already have, mm -hmm. and about 30 to 40% of people are, it's, it's been alternating, but they've been saying that they're really thinking about deleting mm, the accounts yeah. just because it's so negative. It's such a nasty place it sometimes. Is. Yeah, and it just snowballs. I mean, once somebody sees somebody do something negative to somebody, they almost maybe feel other people like it's all right, and they just get on board yeah. and it just yeah. goes and goes and goes. But yeah, just stop your account if that's happening to you. Right. Well, let's get to Jeff for the one thing you need to know about the weather today. Yeah, hopefully a little more positivity in the forecast today because it is going to be a really hot and humid day today. Temperatures will top out near 90 degrees. Also could see a few thunderstorms in the forecast. We'll have more on the timing of that coming up. All right, Jeff, thank you. In other news this morning, political cartoonists at newspapers are supposed to push the envelope, but it costs one cartoonist in Pittsburgh his job. Rob Rogers was fired from the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette after 25 years there, but he says in recent days he had had more than a dozen cartoons spiked because they were critical of the president. Now the paper's editorial director is a vocal Trump supporter. The paper now under fire from critics who say this is just censorship. Well, they can drive, but should they vote? Of course, I'm talking about 16 year olds. In Michigan, there is a bill to lower the voting age. On one hand, teenagers, they showed they could be real activists and voices for change, especially in the wake of school shootings. But on the other hand, don't we all know some 16 year olds that don't make great choices? This is gonna be a real long shot because it wouldn't just have to pass Michigan's legislature, it would also require a change of the state and the US Constitution. Not likely to happen. 
Well, hey, do you hate sitting in traffic? I think all of us do, right? In Chicago, it's especially bad, but there's a possible solution to get to the airport. This is another one of Elon Musk's brainchilds. They're breaking ground on a multi-billion dollar high-speed express train that would get you from downtown to O'Hare Airport. Get this, 12 minutes. If you guys have ever made that trip, you know sometimes it can take about an hour. This underground train could be open in just two years. And it seems to me, if this works, it could mean big changes to transit all over the place. You know, Elon Musk also behind the Hyperloop, yeah. which would get people from yeah. place to place. I would love to see a Hyperloop from Minneapolis, maybe to Chicago. Yeah. It would be amazing. It would. I mean, I've been hearing about this for like six, seven years now. Are we actually going to start like we'll building? Wait them? and see. Because They're breaking ground in Chicago. Yeah. Two years. All right. So, and I also heard Elon Musk is footing the bill. So if this doesn't mm -hmm. work, it's not a city's loss. It's, it's on his, his loss. He's got a lot of money though. So <laughs> and he's more money than Chicago. <laughs> make a ton of money when this is a success. For yeah, sure. definitely. Time for a break here. When we come back, Father's Day just around the corner. We're talking about our dads. Yeah, and this one dad has said he's lucky to be alive thanks to a stranger at the gym. We're going to explain. And things are getting all set up here for the Stone Arch Bridge Festival, which kicks off in Minneapolis today, runs through Sunday. I'm Ellery McArdle, and coming up, we're going to show you more.